of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. Today is Wednesday. We're in the fourth week of Easter, and uh, we are still experiencing what we've been calling Easter grace. And so that we can just be fully open and full of Easter grace, let us empty ourselves of all that is of the world, of all that is sin. I confess to oh Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God, and may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Be present to your family, O Lord, we pray, and graciously ensure those you have endowed with the grace of faith, an eternal share in the resurrection of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The word of God continued to spread and grow. After Barnabas and Saul completed their relief mission, they returned to Jerusalem, taking with them John, who was called Mark. Now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manan, who was a close friend of Herod, the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul, for the work to which I have called them. Then completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. So they, sent forth by the Holy Spirit, went down to Seleucia, and from there sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived in Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. The responsorial psalm is, O God, let all the nations praise you. O God, God, let, let all, all the nations, nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth among all nations, your salvation. O God, let all, all the nations, nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exult because you rule the peoples in equity, the nations on the earth you guide. O God, God let all, all the nations, nations praise you. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I am the light of the world, says the Lord, whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Look in our minds and our lips and in our hearts. Jesus cried out and said, Whoever believes in me, believes not only in me, but also in the one who sent me. Whoever sees me, sees the one who sent me. I came into the world as light, so that everyone who believes in me might not remain in darkness. And if anyone hears my words and does not observe them, I do not condemn him. For I did not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. Whoever rejects me and does not accept my words has something to judge him. The word that I spoke, it will condemn him on the last day because I did not speak on my own, but the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and speak, and I know that the, his commandment is eternal life. So what I say, I say as the Father told me, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Oh my gosh, once again, uh, the readings are so full of richness and the history of the church is happening. This church in Antioch that we spoke about yesterday, uh, now it's so full of the Holy Spirit that there's prophets and there's, there's all kinds of ministries going on and the prophets speak out and says, separate unto me Paul and Barnabas so I can send them on this mission 
to take the word and preach the word throughout the world. I like one of the Old Testament prophets says, one day the word of God will cover the earth like the waters cover the sea. Well, that's not true yet, so we don't have to worry about a sudden end because one of these days, God is going to make it happen to where the word of God covers the earth as the waters cover the sea. What a beautiful thought. Uh, but what I was really blessed by today was also the gospel. Of course, it's a gospel of John, so it's gonna be full of blessing. And uh, Jesus is talking about those who believed, and he is talking about his word being the word of the Father. But he also says, I came into the world as light, and what I come in as is eternal life. And life and light are the same thing. Sometimes we imagine that when we die, we'll be beings of light. And because light and life are the same in so many of our images, and so let's reflect on that that we might truly shine as lights in the world, but that means also as life and light. And so, just as Jesus says, I didn't come to condemn, let's every one of us commit not to condemn ever, but just let the Word of God do that work that it's called to do. It'll do whatever God wants it to do. We're called to light and life. We're called to love one another and to make the whole world one flock of our Lord Jesus Christ, just as the Word comes covers the earth like the like the sea itself and so let's prepare our hearts to walk as Jesus called us to uh, not condemning but blessing uh, I think of this one uh, reading from first Peter I think is verse uh, chapter 3 verse 9 says uh, always be giving a blessing never re never return insult for insult or, or a curse for a curse but just always be giving a blessing always be light and life. That's our faith. We get the best part. And what a wonderful faith we have. And now let us offer our prayers to God for our church and for our world. Oh, loving Heavenly Father, that our church might be life, light, love, and all goodness, uh, that we might truly embrace uh, the goodness of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, that our world uh, might see that light, might know that life, that is our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, for all those who suffer in any kind of darkness, those who are sick or suffering, for those uh, who have addictions or those who just need your healing touch, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, for those who have died, that they might enjoy the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, and for all those unspoken prayers within all the hearts of those watching, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we bring all these prayers to you, our loving Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share our humanity. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, we ask you to receive us, to be pleased with the sacrifice we offer in humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. And now pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful, for his death is our ransom from death, 
and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks and praise, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Earl, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other that sign of peace. Yes. Peace be with you. Peace be with you all.
qui tollis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.